So it's been a few weeks since my last upload. The reasoning for that is, I've just not been feeling it. Kind of been feeling different lately. I think it's like a weather thing. Like it's been really, really bad weather lately. Super gray and snowy, but it's, it's good weather today. It's sunny, of course. But yeah, I've been feeling kind of down. And whenever I feel down, I don't want to like film because I don't want to force content. You know, I don't want to like, if I'm not feeling filming, I'm not going to film because I just don't want to be like, I just don't want to like, you know what I mean? You guys know what I'm saying, dude. But I'm feeling it today. And the reasoning behind that is I've been working hard to get myself back on track. Better sleeping habits, better eating habits. Prayers to God. God help me. And really just, you know, believe in myself that I could feel better. I just wanted to say that in the video because I know there's a lot of you that watch me. And a lot of you guys have depression or whatever. You guys are depressed. Have problems like that. And I just wanted to let you guys know that 100% don't give up because it always gets better. You just have to believe in yourself that it will get better and you have to work for it. You can't just do the same thing every day and expect different results, you know? So I kind I took a break from filming. I wasn't feeling it. Now I'm feeling it. We're back here at Kroger with the cuz Jazzy Swick and Joe. Woo! Feeling awesome on this mighty fine Friday. I want to have a little cooking contest with Joe. Or not even cooking contest, but just like a, I just want to cook with Joe. Fettuccine Alfredo. It's crazy too, because the only thing I can make in life is mac and cheese. Kraft mac and cheese, or like Velveeta. Fettuccine Alfredo is going to be a big step up from that. I don't know what you need for it though. I should probably call my mom. Hi. Hi. Jazzy and I are at uh, Kroger currently. Okay, let me send you a, a list. Thanks. Okay, bye. Bye, love you. Love you too. Soup solo. Change of number. Ooh, oh, here's my microphone. Now you're just somebody that I used to know. Such a good song. My mom said garlic one bulb is fine. I didn't know they made garlic light bulbs. Let's go, Will. We're <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, garlic. This is garlic, right? No, that's a radish. God, you're such an idiot. Oh, okay, I see. Toss, cuz. No. Alright, all right. Sweet. Excellent, thanks. Well, this is better anyway. Ow! Why? You can't just run into somebody with a shopping cart like that! Boneless, skinless chicken breasts. This is definitely the best, yeah. That is it! Okay, perfect. Can I do it? No, I'm good. How about I hand it and you do yeah, it? Yeah, there we go. Teamwork. Actually, no. Compromise. Should I get back here? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're filming a commercial for Kroger. Is it okay if he gets the angles? Let's get a memo about a Kroger video. Oh, yeah. We're the Kroger Boys on YouTube. That's our channel name, the Kroger Boys. And we kind of just... Long yeah, heck yeah. Long me on. Heck yeah, thank you. All right, you can do it now. Okay, all right, dude. It was literally on sale, two for one, so I'm not paying six bucks. <laughs> she's watched us literally just mess around the whole time. She's like, oh, shoot. Okay, you can stop it. I don't need help. I did, what did I do to need help? I didn't, I, it's just that. I didn't even mean to. You can put down the camera again. Better go hop in the Tesla, yeah, like Elon, nigga. Oh, yeah. Run the back like a touchdown, yeah, like Dion, nigga. Oh, yeah. Hello and welcome to Cooking with Dizzy. Today, I'm with my special guest, Jazzy Joseph, my cousin. So we will be cooking chicken fettuccine alfredo. As you saw beforehand, we went, we collected all the veggies, the chicken, the noodles, and whatever else we needed. Lemonade, cause you know, you can't enjoy a meal without a nice drink. But we got the recipe in here. So we're about to put all those things that we just bought at Kroger to good use. Step number uno. Number one! Hey! You ready? Boil water! This. Add a pinch of salt. <laughs> <laughs> is this the salt? Yeah. This is pink, and I don't think the salt's pink. But I don't know. So, well, is this the salt? Can you see it through that hair? Oh, chicken! Chicken! Oh, of course. You gotta have a hat on or something. Make sure the hair doesn't get in your food. The water is boiling. Be careful with that knife, man. Don't wanna have any uh, scars. I'm grabbing in three, two, one. I just realized I didn't cut anything, so... <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Dude, I hope we're doing this right, because I'm actually kind of hungry. <laughs> Watch out! Little did you know I'm Chef Dizzy. 
nice one, butter. We have to guess which one is the garlic press. Okay, let's do process of elimination. Yeah, it's definitely it's not. Definitely <laughs> not this. Oh, it's gotta be this. It's gotta be. Like, it has to be. Smell it. I bet it reeks of garlic. How about you smell it? It does not smell like anything. Yeah, I mean, it's been through the dishwasher. <laughs> uh oh, water. Water on the recipe. Water on the recipe. No more joking around. We have a job to do. Actually, no, let me get the garlic right. Hold on. I don't even know. Let's do it over here, honestly. Cheese, garlic, cheese, whipping cream. Oh my gosh, I just got a whiff of, Joe, you can do the garlic, dude. I'm actually about to, all right, I don't like that at all. It's probably three tablespoons worth. We got three minutes on the chicken, bro. Yeah. Hey Screaming, fuck that, I'ma go, my niggas go take off, tell her buying her yeah. so oh. inside, trying to oh. fuck with oh, a missile. Oh, Great kid, we gon' pop Let's out of Red flags, got no one up to lean upon. Milk guy, got more chocolates to be it's like garlic getting in my freaking fingernails, bro. Dude, oh my. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Ow! My eyeballs. Bro, all right, this is enough, dude. There's skin on it, but if you can't unwrap it now or later all the way, you're still gonna eat it with the paper on. It does not matter. Ooh, Jazzy. See, that was profesh. Oh, oh my god. Oh, dude, that was violent. Dude, it like went up my nostrils and smacked me. Like it literally like, made a fist and punched the mess out of my face. Dang, that's a lot of smoke. You vape or not? <laughs> Mmm. Okay, we gotta go fast, dude. All right, one minute. Set the timer. I'm gonna put it in immediately and set the timer. Set the timer. Set the timer. Three. I got it on my phone. Set timer for one minute. 58 seconds. 57 seconds. All right, timer's up. Okay, add one cup of chicken broth. Arriba. I don't even know where to stop in a cup, so I'm just gonna, you know, just, um, there, that's gotta be good. That's gotta be good. Oh, it's gonna be so good, yeah. Manifest it. It's gonna be great. Yeah, you gotta keep stirring. You gotta keep stirring. You cannot let it burn. That's what the recipe says. It says, let it get hot, then add cheese. Oh yeah, we should do that. I mean, we are chefs and all so. Dude, Frankie, get out of here, dude. This is profesh. Come on. You think Gordon Ramsay's gonna have a dog in his kitchen? <laughs> Look at the way you're holding your phone. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Taste test. <laughs> mm. Very good. I don't like chicken, but that tenderness is just. Mwah! For authentic al dente pasta, boil 12 minutes. Okay. Oh yeah, you're supposed to break them. No, you're not. No, you don't want little noodles. Yeah, it does not matter, dude. We're fine. My heart. <laughs> dude, we were filming. We set down the camera because we're literally cooking noodles, and somehow we caught the stove on fire. <laughs> we do everything, bro. We do all the most professional like stuff, and then all of a sudden, a noodle catches on fire. How does that even happen? Yeah. Caught on fire, dude. Frick. Dude, I really hope this pasta is good. Oh, that looks good, right? Dude, oh okay. no. What? Uh oh. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's stuck. See, to the I'm telling you, we didn't stir it at all. <laughs> oh, we that's didn't, right. We didn't stir that's it, dude. Right. I forgot about that. I forgot that you had to Whoa. stir it. How do we mess up the only thing we've known how to do is cook noodles, bro? And I somehow messed that up. Yeah, dude. All right, we're gonna make new noodles. Penne regatati, and um, we'll get back to you when uh, it's done. Finally pouring the lemonade after hours of hard work. It's 9.22. We started this at 7.30. Mom, how long does this take you? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Wow, that's in, yeah. All right, so you pour the noodles in. Then after you pour in the noodles, you pour in the, the sauce. Chef Dizzy, look at that. Look at the chicken, first of all. Get some more sauce in there. <laughs> I'm kind of scared, dude. You ate it already? Oh. Uh, reviews for from, for all of us. I'd say it's actually 10 out of 10, except for the chicken. The so, chicken just tastes a little weird. Where is it? I'm just not eating the chicken, so it's 10 out of 10. No, eat the chicken. <laughs> uh, I'd say like 8.5 out of 10. I say 8 out of 10 also. 8, probably, yeah. Hey guys, we're in the middle of the North Pole right now. Yeah, it's called Indianapolis. Actually, it's like been a snowy hurricane all week. Well, the past two days, but. We're back in Walmart again. It's been a while, honestly. But you know, here in Indiana, there's a select few of things you can do here. And that's when it's sunny outside. So now that it's North Pole conditions, we're limited to Target and Walmart. And since half the squad is banned from Target, <laughs> we can't go there. Holy dole shiz, PlayStation 5. I love Back to the Future. Dude, Back to the Future is easily probably third best movie of all time. Chicken Little number one, White Boy Rick number two, and then probably uh, Back to the Future. Just such a good, happy movie. Plus the 80s are like such a, dude, I don't know why, but ask anyone in my life. I'm like fascinated with the 80s. Hey guys, that's not cool. You're not allowed to be in here doing that. And I'm gonna go to the cup. 
Maybe. Why is she? Dude, I don't even care if the cops come at this point. Didn't even do anything the whole store besides walk to the video games and somehow we got the cops calling on us. Like, it's not even illegal to film, first of all. <laughs> and this is just for everybody out there who always goes, oh, it is illegal. Well, according to Indiana Code 35-31.5-2 and Indiana Code 35-33.5-5-5, Indiana only requires one party consent and allows one party consent in any public place. It can be a private owned place, but if it has public access, you're still able to do it. Yep. There is no videotaping or... I'm 100% leaving and everything, but there's just this woman that's causing chaos. She was being rude to me. Yeah. She was screaming. I'd honestly like you to take control of her, please. I felt really threatened. And her husband's name is Nathan. There she is. She's giving me a, a death look. Did you call him already? Yeah, I did. All right, thank you. Uh. Oh, shizzle. Oh. <clears throat> Dude, look at the weather, man. It's like kind of cool, but also kind of sucks. Everything besides driving in is cool. Where are the cops? <laughs> Frick. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm clear what you guys do. I'm a YouTuber as well. I won't Heck yeah. You. I don't make pranks, but <laughs> yeah. I'm clear what you guys do. I'm sure you make a lot more money than me, but what's your last name? Miguel. First name? Dylan. With nice a Y. D-Y-L-A-N. And cameraman? Will or William Weitzel. <laughs> I don't know who identified you in there, but if you're not already trespassed, they're probably gonna want it now. Yeah, yeah. it was just a customer that got oh, mad because okay. she's all camera. Oh, yeah. is that what it was? Yeah. yeah. All right, just hang tight, guys. I know it's cold. All right. Yeah, this snow is like freaking my face up. Pause. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, there's backup. Shizzle, dude. You know someone's definitely getting held at gunpoint right now, and no one wants to go because everyone's like, "Oh, YouTubers. I want to. I want to go capture them." At least we got a cool, a cool guy though. You guys got a channel? Yeah. What's it about? Pranks, but we were just chillaxing today. We went up to the, that's the person that, that said she called was the, she's the one that called just cause she saw a camera. Right now? Yes, just chillaxing in the Walmart lobby. Or is this a lobby? Call it more of a vestibule. What'd you say? Call it more of a vestibule. A vestibule? Yeah, you know what that means? No, vestibule, are you playing, are you just make up a word? No. <laughs> vestibule. Yeah. Sounds like a little hamster. What's the best prank you've ever done? Um, probably this one where I would say something with a mask on that was like super ridiculous and then take off the mask and say something super normal. I actually came up with that one. So that's my, that's why I like it so much is because this is Dill's creation. <laughs> She's going off right now, man. I don't even think I have to pee that much. I think it's just the more I think about it, it's like the more, you know, a lot in life is your mentality. And so my mentality is that I have to pee right now. It's just making it seem like I have to pee right now, but I don't really have to pee right now, you know? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to get my mind on like a soccer game or something and it, it'll probably just disappear. She's so mad. <laughs> I didn't see her until she ran up to us and was like, that stuff's weird, guys. That's not cool. I'm going to call the cops. And I was like, well, I told her in there, I go, hey, look, it's kind of a thing. I'm like, it's not illegal to film you. Like, I mean, you know this, even though this is a private business, it's technically like a public entity because anybody can come and go. She was like, oh, that's like their job. I'm like, yeah. She's like, oh. Um. This guy is new. This guy that's right now who trespassed. He's a new guy, but he's already passed the bar. He's only like 23. He's passed the bar. He's an attorney. He was like cop in a different department. Oh. So he'll be a real. I know what the bar is because I just watched um, Catch Me If You Can last night. The bar is like the lawyer thing. I know that. Yeah, it's the lawyer thing. That's so cool. Because at first I thought you meant like passed the bar, like he's he's passed the bar of a, of a normal cop. Oh, like no. this is. Oh, okay. I see saying. No, yeah. yeah. He's like a legit. He could be an attorney in the state of Indiana. That's right? so cool. Well, props to that man. This is what he said in print. He was trespassing for me. Okay. Um, Same thing for you, my man. Thank you. Uh -huh. I wanted to say I'm proud of you for passing the bar and all that stuff. He told us. Oh, that okay. is like, thank that's you. very cool. <laughs> good luck, you guys. You too. Good thank you. Have a good time. Thank we you. shall. Good luck, Dizzy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>